Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you the first part of this beautiful set with Vinny and with a handbag. So please stay tuned for this second video where I will show you how we can make a handbag following the same technique and the same stitch. In this case, I'm going to use a chessboard technique. I will show you how you can change the colors and how you can decorate it. So please stay tuned till the end and before we start I invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free and I will give you the material list and then the step by step. So let's start. Well for this beanie we are going to use three different colors of this yarn. This yarn is between medium or bulky weight yarn between number four and five and we are going to use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters okay we will start making some chains and this will be the white of the elastic that we want in this case i will use one thread and i will start with this light uh, brown and i already get ahead i made the elastic that i need and the white of the elastic that I want measured five centimeters so you can take it as a reference in my case I like this one but you can make it wider or like you want okay so I will start making some chains with twist thread and with their hook we will make two three four five six seven eight nine ten chains then one more to go up and we will come back making single crochet in each stitch like this and i suggest that you always take both parts of the chain like this and that you always take the stitches the same so we are going to make one in each stitch so if we make 10 chains at the end we must have 10 single crochet and 10 then turn around and we will have something like this, okay? 10 single crochet. Go up making one chain. And right away, we are going to take the first stitch like this. We are going to start making reef stitch. This means that we are going to make single crochet, but only taking the back part of the chain like this. So at the end, we can have a little pleat in front so it could give this effect. And also at the end we are going to have 10 single crochet with rib stitch. So like this until we have 10. Well, here please be careful because here you may uh, eat this stitch and forget it. But please count that you always have 10 and finish the row like this. Then turn around and go up with one chain. And right away we are going to start making the next row also with rib stitch making single crochet like this we are going to continue making more rows until we get the white of our head okay so this will be the elastic and if we fold right in half we are going to have 25 centimeters so in total if we unfold it we will have 50 centimeters please try on and once you are sure we are ready to close the row like this in circle sorry the strip like this in circle so with our hook we are going to take one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side and we will make single crochet okay we will take both threads and what both parts of the chain and we will go in order and we are going to make single crochet this will create and make the effect of the elastic and it will perfectly blend with the stitch and well, also at the end you must have 10 stitches. So I will show you how it perfectly blends with the stitch. So look, awesome, right? So see you at when we finish to join. Well, now that we close in circle, we are going to cut. Remember to leave a long thread so later we can hide it. And well, here we are going to make a knot and close. Now we are going to change color, you will decide, in this case I will continue with the light beige. So I will start right here when we've, where we finished. 
Okay, so right here we will go up with one and two, two chains and then we will make one double crochet in each stitch. So, so far we have two, then three, four, five, and six. Okay, again, six double crochet. And we will have something like this. Then we are going to change color and we are going to use the next um, color. I will make a knot right here where we finished. Also, I'm going to leave a long thread so while we crochet, we can hide it. So now we are going to make double crochet with this mm, mustard or a, a, it's, I don't know, yellow with brownish. How can I call this color? Please help. <laughs> so here we have four double crochet, then five and six. And well, as you could see, I didn't cut the thread. I just, while I was making the double crochet, a crochet over it. So now that I will need it again, I will just take the mustard color away. I will place it here in the bottom. So while I crochet, I could crochet over it. And I will leave, leave it right there in hold. And now I will continue with the beige. And I will make six double crochet with this color okay without cutting the thread so now I will use this monster I will adjust and pull a little bit so between the squares you couldn't notice the change right so like this we are going to continue making six double crochet with each color and please don't cut the thread we will continue with this secret well, here I finished the row, I finished the section with the mustard. I perfectly alternate the colors, one in beige, mustard, beige, mustard. And I didn't have the exact counting, so I will leave this stitch right there empty. So now I will continue filling the spaces with the color that it correspond, right? So for example, here we are using the beige. We are going to continue making more rows with beige. And like this, we are going to alternate until we get a square of the same color, okay? Also, we are going to continue keeping this star or the next thread in hold like this. Well, here I will stop. I, I made three rows with double crochet and I already get the square of the chessboard that I want. So I will cut the mustard color. Here I will make a knot. And now with this long thread, I will add this new color. I will use again the light brown or this beige. I will make a knot and I will use this color now to alternate with the pear uh, beige that we have, right? So we are going to repeat the same technique and now here instead of using the beige we are going to crochet and use this brown. Okay, we will keep also these threads right there in the bottom so while we crochet we are going to take them with us and also each section will have six double crochet. So we are going to crochet double crochet over double crochet and like this and now instead of using the mustard color in the next section of six double crochet we are going to use the beige color okay and well like this basically we are going to continue with this color we are going to make three rows more and when we finish to make these three rows with this color well now we are going to change color and alternate the colors to get this combination okay so we are going to continue making more rows following this technique and in the next uh, section of three rows, let's call it series, we are going to change the beige for the monster. So like this is how we are going to play with the colors. Well, here I will stop. I made 
three series following this technique. Now we are going to reduce. As you could see here in the wrong side, it looks perfect. We don't have any thread there that you could see, so it's perfect. We have been doing an amazing job. So now we are going to reduce a bit so we can have the shape of the beanie that we want. So now look. We are going to change color. We will use this brown and now we will start like this. We will go up with three chains and now here we will start reducing. We won't take the first and the last stitch so we will reduce like this because if we just skip and jump we will have a big hole right there. So we are going to place the hook in the back and from two double crochet we are going to transform into one. Also we are going to continue taking the threads in the bottom so while we crochet we can hide them. Okay, so here we are about and well here instead of having six, okay now we are going to transform the last one to have four at the end. So we are going to place the hook like this, placing it in the back and taking two and from two we will make one. So now we will have four in this segment. And I will tell you a secret. To me it's more helpful if I use this um, yarn that I'm about to hide with the thumb and I use the rest to take the other thread. So this is how I take the yarn, so to me it's easier. So well, the two double crochet of uh, the middle, we are going to reduce them and transform them two into one. And the last one and the first one, we are going to make it as we used to. So now we are going to change again color and as you could see this row it's uh, made with segments with four double crochet and well we will continue and I already make a mistake <laughs> you said I told you the first one and the last one double crochet but here I reduce so okay let's review again okay so the ones of the middle we will reduce them and transform two into one like this and then the last one double crochet okay well like this we are going to continue the whole row making segments with four double crochet and changing colors alternating the colors like this okay so let's make one more with you so we can review Okay, the first one normally and then the ones that we have between, we are going to reduce them. Oh, I don't know what I have a hair here, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and the last one also like this. So we are going to make three rows with four double crochet and see you at the end to teach you what's next. Well, remember, we were here. Remember that in this row is where we reduce and from six we have four and I made two series more with four double crochet. Then in the next series, I reduce again only one. So I made segments with three double crochet and then I continue like this all around. And as you could see, we have reduced so far a lot. And also the long of the beanie, it's perfect to me. So if you need to make more rows, well, you can make them following the same instructions and the same technique. Um, please try on, okay? So now we are going to cut a long thread because we will use this one to sew. So, but first let's make a knot and then we can continue. But here I have in hold the stitch, so just first let me with the hook because if not this will undo this will destroy so okay now here we finish we are going to make a knot passing through the needle and then I will show you how we we are going to sew okay with the embroidery needle we are going to pass the needle like this we are going to alternate once in front once in the back 
and like this, taking all the stitches in order all around. Okay, so here I take all the stitches. Now we are going to pull and close like this. We are going to hide all the threads inside. So later with embroidery and needle, you can hide them there in the wrong side. And once we are here, we close all of them. We are going to sew again and make a knot to make sure that this will be there and will be really closed. Okay. And now we are going to sew all around again to make sure that this will be very close. <laughs> okay. So now with this we finish. Uh, you can decorate like two one. You can put a pom pom right there in the top, or in this case I will show you. I will make. Um, a decoration I will show you I don't have a pom-pom maker but I will show you and I will share a secret if you want you can put a bottom here or a flower you can decide but well now the next step it's optional but I invite all of you to watch it because it's a secret I haven't shared well I will use these circles I draw them in a cardboard so I will use four I needed it to be thicker so that's why I will use four. But if you have a thicker cardboard or something similar, you can use it. And it's very important that you have two pieces because later you are going to pass between these two circles your scissors. So please it have two pieces. Okay, so now see what's next. So use the color that you want in this case i will use the most dark color i will take a long thread and then i will cut it as soon as i finish this this thread i will use more and more until i have uh, the rows that i need okay so i will show you at the end how mine looks so you can have an idea how many you have to put inside okay so take all of them together and we are going to pass the thread like this inside okay we will go in order we will have patience enjoy it and we are going to take all the threads like this okay i will show you how many i made so you can have an idea and with this we are going to make a pom pom well look now we have it ready at the end i put four threads inside the embroidery needle so i can finish sooner so like this, look how many rows I made. I think it's perfect. So here I'm going to cut. Now to have ready, I will cut two threads like this because later I will need them to make a knot taking all the threads. So I will have them ready. And now it's very important that you take all your threads and you take your pom pom maker, maker like this, okay, very strong. And we are going to use the scissors to cut between them. Okay, I think this is small scissors cut better. So we are going to cut right in the middle. We will take all the threads. Please be careful to uh, keep holding your pom pom maker like this until you finish to cut all the threads between and please don't um, take your hand away take all of them it's very important that you keep holding this pom pom maker like this okay so see you when we finish to cut all these threads until we arrive here where is the cardboard so now look here we are finishing to cut as i told you you need to have two pieces so when you cut you can pass the scissors between these two pieces of cardboard well now that we have ready the threads that we cut we are going to pass it through the this thread very slowly and carefully between these two cardboards and we are going to make a knot right there Okay, so please make sure you take all the threads with you. So here I'm going to make sure that I'm going to take this thread between these two pieces of cardboard. Okay, so like this. Let's make a second knot. 
to make sure let's make one more <laughs> I don't want to to mess it okay let's make one more just in case so I think that we are ready and take also and leave a long thread so you can use these ones to to sew and join the pom pom with the vini. So I just get excited. I will make more. I don't want to to mess it. Okay, so now we can take all of these cardboards. We are going to cut them in half like this, and we can remove them. You can use the scissor or like me, I will use the needle. The sorry, the nails because it's very easy to make and now tada here we have our result you can cut and take and put all the threads similar the same distance and like this and now we finished so easy right so I hope that you like my secret and that you make your pom pom like this Well, it's perfect. I love how it looks. And well, I will use now the embroidery needle to pass it through this hole that we have here. And we are going to make a knot and sew all the threads that we may have here behind with the embroidery needle. And with this, we finish. I hope that you have enjoyed. Please stay tuned for the coming video because remember, with the same technique, we are going to make a handbag. I want to show you how you can make this handbag using the zipper. So I will show you how you can crochet using the zipper and all the secrets and tips that you can make to make it perfect. So please stay tuned. Now let's see how it looks. Remember that if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And share this video if you like it. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for watching and for taking the time to visit my channel and to subscribe. That means a lot to me. And remember that I'm in all the social media. I'm new in TikTok. So if you are there, please follow me too. And see you in Instagram and Facebook. I will continue sharing more ideas and pictures of my coming projects. Thank you so much for watching till the end and please stay tuned for the second part of this beautiful set. Thank you, take care and bye bye.